there are a lot of things which you can happen when you're using on dynamic uh, websites and you want to publish it um, especially with the single page when you go into the single page and you change things what happens is when you do that a lot of times then it won't appear on the front end and you get uh, some errors or the field won't appear anyway so there's nothing to see and uh, what you must keep in aware is that everything must be correct so when you're using uh, the dynamic fields for example this one then it must match with um, uh, the data so if you change something in here and it's spelled wrong or you copy and paste it uh, on the wrong way then the whole whole page can uh, collapse so this is one thing everything must be fine and good and it's the same thing with for example the forms when you see this form for example then I have added some repeated fields and this is the repeat fields that I want to show you. In the first uh, instantiation, I have chosen for this repeat the fields, and uh, the field that I have made in here, um, I've made it um, first. Now let's see. This is not the one. Sorry, uh, this is the one. So uh, first, I've made it an uh, uh, select box so I chosen for the select but I had to choose for a checkbox because when you're using for example for um, uh, fluent forms and you see here the particular form data then you can choose for a um, multiple selection so you choose in here the multiple selection and then you embed the values that you find here from the form in here but uh, the funny thing is that this is a select field but you have to choose for a checkbox and then save it as an array so it will store it in a PHP database otherwise it won't appear on the front end so this is uh, a little thing that can happen with the form submissions and the repeat fields another thing and that I have to tell you is that when you are uploading something and it doesn't appear um, <clears throat> all, uh, all the times but sometimes it will appear and other times it won't appear then you have to go to the PHP file uh, to the PHP configuration in this case it is from Hostner <clears throat> but when you're using another provider then it's fine and then you have to increase the limits and the uh, session cookie live time you have to check them and uh, increase it and decrease it when you find some problems and then it will uh, it will work so it's a PHP um, problem you can uh, go to Elementor or something like that and uh, regenerate the CSS it won't work uh, you can uh, make um, and, uh, and caching it won't work either it is not the problem it's the PHP the other thing that you have to do is go to your firewall in this case is from fire uh, die and when you're using another uh, firewall system then check that as well and then you have to whitelist your IP address so you have to check what your IP address is and you go to the websites and when you go to the websites don't mention this these are all test websites so that's why the error message is up here but uh, no that's not what I want if you go into this website this particular website that I'm showing you and then you go to the firewall and you go to the IP And you have to whitelist it, spin it out. Mm, maybe it's on the firewall manager. No, the settings. And then we have to whitelist our 
IP address. And you can also write this to URL. So that is another thing that's important. And the last thing that I want to show you in this short tutorial is when you are working on your website, then you have to go to the incognito and work in the incognito. So you have to go to your website and then you have log into the uh, back end and then work in the incognito and just disable all the extensions that you have on your computer. So you have to disable all those extensions. That's the best way to work because otherwise you also can get a browser error. So the PHP configuration is important and when you go to the uh, simple post type then it's important that everything is spelled correctly and all the data that you have embedded is correctly and yeah basically this is what I want to say you uh, on this tutorial now I will get deeper in this subject later but this is for next time I just wanted to notice you this in this short video